good day and welcome back to my youtube channel real life crime stories with cat today we're going to be covering a story about the south african serial killer stuart wilklin better known as booty Blue. so today's content is going to be really really bad as it's going to contain um child abuse animal abuse human abuse so if you know that you are triggered by such please turn it off but before we can go into the video please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share my videos Thank today's you. video is about south africa's most unusual serial killer stuart wonkling born 11th of november 1996 better known as the Butubu. His span of crime lasted from 1990 to 1997, and to simplify things, I will refer to him only as Wonkling. Wonkling was deemed unusual because unlike most serial killers who targeted a specific profile of people who usually had similar characteristics, Wonkling targeted two different types of victims, female adults, prostitutes, and young adolescent boys. So first, a bit of a backstory on Wonkling. Wonkin and his sister were left at the phone booth as infants and were found by a domestic worker who took them to an employer known only as Dupe. Dupe subjected the boy to terrible abuse, burning him with cigarettes on his genitals and giving his food to dogs and forcing him to eat from the dog's bowl with them. Dupe also engaged in acts of bestiality with the dogs and forced the young woman to lick his penis. Wonkling's sister then disappeared and he did not know what happened to her. This went on for a year and a half. Wonkling was not even two years old at this point. At the age of two, he was adopted by the mother's sister and Mrs. Wonkling and then he was to squad Wonkling. Although he referred to his wife as and they all moved to put him Later on, Wonkling did not do well in school and he continued to fight his stepmom and other children. He started smoking marijuana at the age of eight and when he was nine years old, an ordained minister of the church invited Wonkling to his house and he sodomized him. Wonkling's stepfather passed away and his stepmother was too overwhelmed to be dealing with all this alone and he sent him to a reformatory where he would be locked up without clothes as a punishment and the older boys sodomized him once again now if you don't understand what sodomizing is sodomizing is raping someone on their anatomy